Hey guys, Aaron Danton here. Uh, from the front porch pulpit. I think I'm going to still keep calling it that, even though I'm sitting in my daughter's room. She's taking a nap. Um, put this chair in here. You see it got a little butterfly back there. Uh, <laughs> um, and toys over there. <laughs> but, um, so... Uh, yesterday I made, uh, a video, the day before I made a video, it's, I, I'm probably going to start posting them. I, uh, uh, yesterday I got more confirmation from people, what people call prophets about a dream I had. Uh, I made a video about it, about, uh, horsemen, uh, a army riding up to me as I was walking in um, the Tower of Babel, the Tower of Babylon, spiritual Babylon, the old heaven, however I, people want to call it. I don't even care, you know, but um, I was there and this army of angels came riding up to me. And at first I kind of got startled and scared and I, and I stopped them and I told them that, you know, God had a plan and this was the plan and then we started knocking on doors and uh they were enemy strongholds they were locked in uh they wouldn't open their doors and you know it's um it it is what it is um and so like a lot of uh like hank kuneman on elijah streams confirmed that dream uh robin bullock did on his 11th hour um there's been others, uh, even Kat Kerr, uh, she confirmed it. Um, so, um, it, it's pretty cool, but, um, and so the, you know, uh, I get, I catch a lot of backlash for things I say, but you know, it's not like, um, I'm making things up to get to heaven. I just, it's just farce, you know, uh, there's no reason, um, and in the first place, like, um, you know, um, like, I, um, it, it's tough for me, from my perspective, to keep a balance between, uh, hellfire preaching and, uh, gospel of Jesus Christ preaching because without Jesus I wouldn't have ever had a vision in the first place and um, so uh, you know from God now I wouldn't have ever you know been able to receive any grace from God to know anything in the first place so um, and I always maintain that you know the Father Son and the Holy Ghost the Trinity is complete you know from the beginning it is what it is um, so I started doing the series of uh, things, you know, because Jesus only did as he saw his father do, only said as he heard his father say uh, yesterday, and I'll post that video today. Today is the 28th, I believe, 29th. I don't know. You guys know me. I don't really keep track of dates. Um, I'm just not that way. Um, and, and a lot of guys, you know, do in their prophetic ministries because they want to prove that they're a prophet. You know, there's no reason to prove it if you're getting messages from God because others will confirm it for you, and it's fine with me. So, um, yesterday I was talking about how Jesus uh, didn't call down fire upon the Samaritans when they assaulted him. And today I was going to talk about um, uh, how Jesus, was when he was walking on water, um, saved Peter. Um, so here it is in Matthew, uh, see Matthew 14, I believe. I don't know. I didn't read it. I just started the video cause I got excited to make it. Cause my, uh, my daughter, when she takes naps, I, I usually go grab a minute real quick and, um, try to make a video. So, uh, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and so I didn't have time to prepare it. I actually, uh, had some huge, um, um, Holy Spirit moments this morning, and I was just living in it for a while, uh, when I feel the presence of God, and 
Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, I, uh, I, I just try to think through whatever it is they're putting on my heart. So, uh, I did that this morning. Uh, and they are, you know, God and Jesus are who I talk to in my head. Uh, I pray constantly to, it's not, uh, for me, they're like, uh, always there. So I always talk with them and, and that's who I talk to in my head. And I catch a lot of backlash and, uh, and I probably will till the day I die, you know, and I'm sure, you know, uh, some of you will too, you know, if you start really professing that, you know, God, and know Jesus Christ, uh, people who don't will be like, I'm a better person than you. There's no way, you know, these things. And I don't, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, I, I don't really know if I'm better or worse or, or, uh, not you know it doesn't really matter um what like who god ordains who jesus ordains is who they ordain you know it's not like i have a choice in it um although i did have a dream that you know jesus was like i should have had you you know crown crowning the boards <laughs> up and making them stable uh and so whatever you know it doesn't I, I, I made Jesus the steward of the treasures in heaven that I have, and that includes uh, any gifts, anointings um, that I've received, uh, any blessings that I've received. Um, it's all any glory, praise, it's all, it's all his. I give it all to him, and he can do with it what he wants, and he multiplies. He has nothing. I, I have nothing he needs, you know what I mean, here on earth. Um, so he... Um, only multiplies my treasures, so uh, it is what it is. I'm seeing this light. Let's see if I can block it. No, I can't. I'm like, where's that coming from? In front of me or behind me? I can't tell. They're all around me. <laughs> um, anyways, um, so Matthew 14. Let's see. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into the ship and to go over before him unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into the mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. <clears throat> and in the fourth watch of the night jesus went unto them walking on the sea and when the disciples saw him walking on the sea they were troubled saying it is the spirit and they cried out for fear but straightway jesus spake unto them saying be of good cheer it is i be not afraid and peter answered him and said lord if it be thou bid me come unto thee on the water and he said come and when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of truth, thou art the Son of God. And when they were gone over, they came unto the, the land of the Gen? Genesaret. Hmm. So, Jesus saved Peter from drowning. Um... And he only did as he saw his father do. God uh, then would save people from drowning. Um, I've been maintaining that, you know, um, the Lord from the Garden of Eden wasn't God. And the Trinity was complete from the beginning. The Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And everything they created up till Genesis uh, 2, 3 was good. Uh, the... Uh, uh, a person, a thing, a place can't make other things evil unless it's evil itself so you can't create an evil tree 
in the Garden of Eden unless you have evil in you. And he tries to exalt himself um, when he's the serpent. He has the serpent exalt um, him, the Lord, to godhood falsely uh, because the serpent is a liar. You know, how you, you know how you can tell when the serpent's lying? It's talking. So uh, the Lord of the earth flooded the earth. Um, and that's why when Jesus only does as his father does, he didn't let Peter drown. He grabbed him and held him up. He said, you don't have enough faith, but that's okay. Let's walk back over to the ship. I'll calm the wind. And uh, he commanded the wind and the sea, you know. Uh, and also, I like to equate, you know, the walking on the sea uh, as the Sea of Babylon in front of the, the, the horror of Babylon, the Church of Babylon, uh, the multi-level heaven, um, the sea, um, as being a multitude of nations and tongues before the horror of Babylon. And when Jesus walks on the sea, he's above it. He's risen out of it. It's not a fake leaven of the Pharisees. It's a real leaven of God. That he's risen above the sea and he's able to walk on the sea. But when Peter took his thoughts and intents and his focus off Jesus, he sank back down. But as soon as he was holding Jesus' hand again and walking with Jesus, he was able to rise back out of the water, the Sea of Babylon, and walk on top of it. So, you know, uh, so Jesus saves from drowning. God saved Noah from drowning. And so, uh, I was going to show, I guess it was um, Genesis, kind of tying all this together in, in ways that, I don't know, maybe others have, have had, um, and, and that's fine with me, you know. Uh, so, in... Uh, <coughs> Yeah, I could read the flood and now, but everybody knows the story. Um, and you can see, you know, God and Lord God in, in there, too. And, the, um, and he would be the, the Lord of, uh, you know, from the Garden of Eden up until when Jesus came. And, um, you know, Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth, born in Bethlehem, who was a Virgin Mary. Um, persecuted, killed, shed his blood, innocent blood. Uh, you know, he was innocent of sin. Um and rose from the tomb after three days ascended to heaven in his risen flesh after 40 days of being risen so uh, that's Jesus uh, he didn't come till then right and he was never an angel because he was uh, he's the son of God he's not an angel he's the son of God so he's never an angel right so, um, he came, he was the son of God, he was always with God, whenever God was doing something good for mankind, Jesus was there, the Holy Ghost was there, the Word of God was there, he's always, they're always with God, you know, um, and the Father was there, they're always with God, uh, so, however you want to equate it all, <laughs> um, so, so the, now the serpent uh, was more subtle, he's subtle, than any beast of the field, which the Lord God, Lord God, again, the prefix Lord, uh, had made. And he said unto the woman, ye hath God said, ye shall not eat of the very tree of the garden of Eden. Now, in the garden of Eden, it was always the Lord God. It was never God. So how did God say, don't eat of that tree? You see how the serpent exalted the Lord. It's a purposeful thing. It's a deception that the Lord of the Garden of Eden, who created the tree of evil and good, was God. Who's the, the fallen one that was uh, evil and good? Lucifer. Not God. God was only good in the beginning, remember. And the Trinity was complete from the beginning, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. So, there's the subtlety. That's how you know when the serpent is talking. It's lying. He's exalting the fake God, the intercessory Lord to be God. 
It's a lie from the devil himself. And so, uh, and the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the tree of the garden. And if you like, I mean, we can go right back to verse, uh, let's see. Right there, and uh, see verse 2, 8. And the Lord God planted the garden eastward of Eden. And there he made he put the man whom he had formed. And now the ground made he, the Lord God, to grow every tree that was pleasant to the sight and good for food. And the tree of life was also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The Lord God is the one that's in the Garden of Eden, talking with Adam and Eve. The serpent calls him God. It's a purposeful deception. So, today is a great day for salvation. May uh, I'll be posting this probably, uh, I think, the 29th or 30th. Um, but it's, I'm recording it on 28th. Some of these things I just have to let marinate to make sure uh, that I should be posting them, you know. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's really just to help people differentiate uh, between the triune God, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Um, so, um, because there's there's like such subtle little twists to get your mind going on, in a convergent path, rather than continuing straight ahead, you know. Um, and even, you know, you can go this way or that way, it doesn't matter, off the path is off the path. Uh, Make straight the way of the Lord, you know. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of God is at hand. It's a straight path. There is no convergence, right? So you have to stick with God is only good from the beginning. And uh, that's why I always say, I love and only serve and worship God, the Father and Creator in heaven of all things good from the beginning. And Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. He saved me. He's, I would not know anything if it weren't for Jesus. And I don't mind conveying a message. I don't mind, you know, being honest and true with you. Um, you know, it's just. And and I, when I first started, I expected backlash. Uh, I expected hate. I expect because, uh, you know, who am I? I'm nobody. You know what I mean? And people will make sure I feel like nobody. And uh, that's fine with me. I mean, my family did it to me. Uh, my sister was like, who do you think you are? I'm like. I, I don't know. It was confusing at first, you know. Um, but, you know, I witnessed what I witnessed. What God showed me, what Jesus has showed me, shown me. It's what you witness. You witness, you know, Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. He's my Lord and Savior. Uh, he's in the God, you know, and God is in him. The Father is in him. They are one. I don't know, you know, Jesus came in the flesh, you know, and he lives. Like, I don't know what to say to convince people that, uh, that I, I'm, I'm not, um, uh, reprobate, you know what I mean? Or anything like that. And, um, you know, it's, it is what it is. So, um, you know, today's a good day for salvation. Every day is a good day for salvation and start praying and earnestly contending for the faith of the saints. I say, you know, and uh, the truth of God and Jesus Christ and um, all the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, um, all the anointings of the saints and uh, the prophets and seers and uh, like Philip could teleport, you know, uh, the, um, you know, um, so, yeah, and uh, put on the full armor of God, fight against um fallen angels and demons and whatever else you know and uh, make them flee don't let them feel comfortable in your presence make evil feel so uncomfortable it wants to be nowhere near you and uh, say these things in the name of Jesus Christ amen uh, have a good weekend I, I may post this one even today uh, but yeah, so the series of Jesus only did as he saw his father do. What did Jesus do? See, he didn't call down fire, so he's not filling up hell for Satan or for the Antichrist. Um, and so and that, uh, that's the, the bottom 
Yeah. <laughs> um, and so um, he's not letting people drown to fill up hell or the, you know, um, or help out Satan and the Antichrist. Um, <clears throat> oh, so last night, part of, I I figured it out a while ago that um, there, to every part of heaven, there's a counterpart of the enemy of God and Jesus Christ, right? So there is a counterpart to the record keeper for God, which is the Holy Ghost, uh, the, the Holy Spirit, um, in the kingdom of hell, Satan, the Antichrist. And then I call him, a lot of people call him the invisible God because, you know, but from the beginning, there's an image. We know this. God created mankind in his image. And and the record keeper of Satan and the Antichrist and the kingdom of hell, however you want to call it. It's not even a kingdom. It's like the opposite of a kingdom. However, I don't even know what to call it. You know what I mean? The exact opposite of heaven is hell. <laughs> um, so, um, the kingdom of darkness. We can just call it, or the... You know, infamous, the infamy of darkness or something like that. Um, so there is a record keeper and he hasn't, he calls himself the invisible voice, the invisible God. The, but we know from the beginning, God has an image. Otherwise, you wouldn't have an image. If you were made in the express image of God, you would look like what God looks like. You know, even like Allah with his two right arms, right? And one shin and all these crazy things he says about himself or buddha with you know a thousand arms and you know i'm like he, those aren't images of god obviously because you don't look like that <laughs> you know what i mean if you so if you expect to see god you would expect to see something similar to yourself right when you look in the mirror you got two eyes nose mouth teeth you expect god to look something like that wouldn't you uh, so because an image is an image is an image. There is no, like, perceived, uh, like, God could look like this. Well, yeah, sure. God could look like anything he wanted, but he made us in his image. So, not the other way around. We don't make God in our image. We are made in God's image. So, uh, he has a heart. He has a mind, a soul, a spirit. He has everything we have. We have everything he has, so to say. So the invisible God is just made up. Um, and that would be the version of the Holy Spirit. And that's what psychics, palm readers, that's who they, the record keeper, he has people that work for him, right? And so these demons, let's just call them, um, are to help psychics be able to know what to say to somebody because he has a record. So they're communicating in the negative way world you know and it's and it's all just to lead you astray all of it you know one step off the path leads to another and then you're completely off the path to heaven which is a narrow path uh, i like to think of it as a one person path two steps in you're off right so um yeah that was uh that was just part of what uh you know i've been trying to work up to it for people um because uh, there's a lot of churches that say oh uh, i listen to the voice of the invisible god i'm like oh but you're made in god's image <laughs> aren't you <laughs> from the beginning when everything was good all right you guys may god and jesus christ bless amen